Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So I haven't made any kind of video on Windows Phone long time now. Uh, nowadays, people are facing a problem where they cannot update their phone 8.1 to 8.1 update or 8.1 update 2. Why this thing requires actually if you want to unlock the bootloader or get the root permission from your phone or if you want to update your phone to Windows 10 then Windows 8.1 update 1 is required. But nowadays, the the server is not working very well so uh, you cannot download the update it's almost always fit so this time i will show you how you can offline update your windows on 8.1 phone so currently this phone like nuvia 720 is running on 8.1 update 1 let me show you which i have used the same tutorial today i will show to update and let me show you so as you can see about phone so this one is running on 8.1 update and this one is Lumia 920 which I have updated to 8.1 update 2 as you can see setting the order is different on this phone because it's running on update 2 so okay about it should be here okay so update 2 as you can see here update 2 so both of this phone can be unlocked or uh, we can update it to understand by using offline update method I have already made video about how you can um, update your phone to understand using offline method and we have another 720 here but this one is running on 8.1 update and no update here just 8.1 as you can see so this phone cannot be updated to understand if you don't install 8.1 so first of all the tutorial i'm going to show you is for windows 8.1 update 1 i mean that means this and it will be same for update 2 and i will put all the file link in the description below you can download it from there but today in this video i will be using this phone uh, to demonstrate that tutorial and one thing about this tutorial is that it's not from me i did not discover this kind of tutorial i just found it and i'm applying it and i'm trying to make it easy for you guys and to follow and i will put all the files in the one place so that you don't need to go and find the files from somewhere else or anything like that and also this tutorial you can find it on another channel like windows uh i think um that is Windows 10 M group. I will put the link in the description below. You can check their group too. And it has a, a lot of videos only about Windows Phone. So you can check their tutorial too. If you don't understand mine one. Because I have understand from those their videos. But my tutorial will be different than theirs. Uh, as far as I can say. It will be much easier than their videos. So first of all, as I said. Um, let's keep this two phone there. And... Let's go to our uh, computer screen. So I put my phone screen somewhere left side here so that you can always see. And okay, just move this file here so that you guys can see. So the phone is here and as we are in the screen now, so so these are the files which are we need. Actually, I, we don't need this file. So let's move it to our desktop another desktop okay so this only these files we need for this uh, update process so we have like .NET so sometimes if you don't have .NET it doesn't work and also .NET too so I just put all of them together whatever requires file and also you have to install Windows device recovery tool if you don't have you install it because it uh, install the driver for your phone and everything and the zip file name will be this it's about 1 GB and this zip file is for GDR2 update if you need GDR2 update then you have to download this file too but for if you are following for 8 point update 1 then you just need to download this one so those who are want to install Windows 10 just install this one but if you don't want like Lumia 1020 I think no need to update to Windows 10 it, it, you will lose camera performance better you update only update 2 so if you if you extract this file you will get this file file and just install these two first and after that also you have to install this windows device recovery tool i have already installed windows device recovery tool let me show you it's already here as you can see windows device recovery tool you install that too and after installing these two uh we are done with this thing so you can you can keep it or you can just remove like trash it it's up to you now we have these three files which we have to work with now we will create a video or create a folder 
So as we are using 720, so we will create a folder called 720. So create a folder and I put the name 720, okay? So after 720, putting 720, just connect your phone to your PC and so we are connecting our phone to PC. Yeah, we are connected now. So let's go and move. So we are going to 720 uh, file there and we just copy the path of that folder so after cop we just copied the path and just close it now as for now now go to iu tool portable open it and just uh, click on uh, uh, path bar and just write cmd there after writing cmd it will open a command prompt so the command prompt is open but it's on another display so here we, we can see the command prompt here and our phone is still connected so as you can see here and now we can type iu tool iu tool dash l to check our device is connected or not so if i click it as you can see here my friend uh, my phone is connected like lumia 720 okay, lumia 720 so now what we have to do is that we have to get the information from this phone to use to filter our update because the update file i'm putting here is for all the phones so we need just the uh, files which only needs for this phone so we have to filter those files so now we have to command put a command so i just make it bigger so that you can see and i will put the command also in the description box so you don't need to just see the videos once like like review the videos so we will write get du logs then then space then dash then o then we will put a Okay, now we have to put our path actually, so shift and we will put our path, control V and we have to write another thing is device, we have to write device logs, logs dot cat and we will put again the bracket, so and I will put enter. So after putting enter as you can see it said um, fail to enable login don't worry about that it just it doesn't matter you, you will see that they will say successfully completed their task let me let's let's wait a bit it will not take time actually so we can see that command executed successfully so that we can close this area now we can see the 720 file and we can see this file which was not here we just put the link and it's come here now we will extract that I'm using 7-zip, you can use anything you want. So the extract to device logs, I just make another folder inside and we will get these files. As you can see, a lot of files here. We just need this file actually. So we will copy this file. Copy and we can copy this file to our WP cap filter. So you put here, okay? Paste it here. The file is here. Now we don't need actually this, these files, okay? Now we will delete these files, gone. Keep this folder because we will put our file filtered file here. So now we will go to IO tools again. We will write CMD there again. So let's CMD. So after writing CMD, our command prompt again opened, but it's in different panel. So we are here now. Now we have to specify the two path actually now. So we will we will copy the file from base base file to our our designation file which we will use for our 720 so now we will write our command so we will write wp filter caps okay filter cap oh no no wp cap filter we cannot write that okay cap filter now we have to write the path so we have to write the source path first then we will put the designation path so source because we already or you already got the designation path, we will put that first. So control plus P first. Now first put our semicolons, okay, it's not semicolons. Then put uh, put our uh I don't know why you cannot okay, just copy the copy the path now. So with that we will copy the path of our file like which one? So first copy the file of base file. Okay, just go to base and copy the base copy and open the command pen put it there and just again clone on 
and again space and now we will put our designation file okay so don't make mistakes about these things if you put it wrong it will not work so oh, now you put another one so i forgot to the colon sometimes if you don't put this this like a comma type of thing it doesn't work okay so now we are so you got it the files name and other things now i just push enter and i will push the enter button so it said um i will do portable wbk filter wbk filter is not uh recognize and okay 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 so we made a mistake so now we what we have to do is actually we have to do with wpk filter option so we made a mistake like we put it in um iu tool that's that's why it did, did not work so we'll do the same thing now again so let's uh put it the common prompt so we like wp cap filter so I'll just copy the path now so i should copy the common prompt from previous one so i made a mistake there so our base file link is here so just copy this copy and paste and put shift and space and again we'll copy the another path like 721 so copy 720 and put it there again i made mistake not putting the columns okay up the space Yeah. So this is the command as you can see here our command is written here and I will put the command in the description You can check it from there too. I'll just put enter So as you can see it's filtering the cap file and Okay, our cap files are done. So we, we got our cap files and we can close this area Just close it close it and our phone is still running on running on here there is nothing going on with the phone we could we did not do anything with the phone yet we just did all the files and anything so as you can see this files comes here this one also belongs to your phone you cannot flash this file to another phone only for 720 so we will copy the path again so copy now we will go to iu tool again and as for now let me show you our phone update is not going on we are not connected to anything so we'll go to iu tool and write cmd there again and so our command prompt again open but it's different skin so now we will put command is iu tool dash p dash ping and we have to put our source path so you will put control p so our our source is here and we need to put the commas back actually if you don't put also it 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 will work maybe i did not try with that okay so we are here i will do b plus p so let's now start our push so now this way actually we are pushing the update this is the main thing of this uh whole update so we are pushing the update now enter and as you can see first it said failed but it says transfer file started so you will transfer the file hopefully so we can show you the phone now so transfer is started let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see our phone is doing it there is nothing going on with phone right now because the file is not yet gone to our phone so it's just wait a bit to come the flop files to push in the phone okay one thing you have to remember that i will not take any kind of uh, risk about this kind of thing if you do it do it your own risk if you if you destroy your phone i'm not going to do anything but if you do anything like if you break your phone or you do anything like that you can do one thing always you just use windows phone device recovery tool and flush your phone to stock stock device stock firmware so that you can use again or you can follow the tutorial again if you made any mistake so that's it about other things and also uh, keep in mind that this update well sometimes brings bugs also so this is this phone's actually not for data app just for if you want to get like root permission uh want to install windows 8 uh, windows 10 then these things are necessary otherwise use of one as it is so as you can see here windows phone update one is started on my phone 
now we can close these things actually we don't, we don't need actually we already done with our pc also and as you can see here that the the preparation install is going five percent right now and it will go like preparation of install and do everything and just restart itself don't do anything with your phone don't disconnect your phone just keep it like that after finish it will update itself and it will turn out in turn on itself I will not show that that it's turned on and updated because it will take long time. This process take long time, so let it do it itself. The main thing is done. We have done the up pushing the update and everything. And now talk about the GDR2 update. As you can see, I have another file GDR2 update. If you extract the file, you will get a base file like this, a 8.10, but it will be like 8.15. So you just just put the file there and use delete this file and put this one there and just do everything as i showed for 8.1 update one so it was very easy actually there is nothing to do it like you no need nothing to show actually it's completely uh completely looks like this process i have done it already so so you can you guys can follow that too so that's it about the update of windows 8.1 to 8.1 update one or update two and i will put the link of the files in the description below you can download it from there and also i will put the link of the of the um what it called youtube channel where i have learned these things or i got the information i will put that uh channel link also you can check their videos too and also you can subscribe their channel too because th that that channel is actually only for windows phones so you can get actually better information from me than uh, uh you will get more information from better than me actually there so you can follow their channel so that's it all about windows 4 8.1 update uh, hopefully this video will help full for you guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please